what's good y'all it's your girl sweet on camille and i know i look crazy as right now but um this is my wash day routine this is my hair after about four days of i took my cornrows out from where underneath my wig and i just wore my corn my hair out in the braid out style for a good four days and then yesterday i just had it tied up all day so it looks really 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 wacky but um yeah so let's get into this video um if you're new to this channel thank you for coming by thank you for checking me out like please comment subscribe share it to anyone and everyone you know and <laughs> let's get into this video with this crazy head y'all see this lord today is sunday by the way march 31st so i gotta go to work tomorrow i can't go to work tomorrow looking like this oh no can i mm -mm. y'all
All right, y'all. So what I normally do is I detangle my hair. I had to do that. I had to wash out my conditioner. That was the last clip. I had to wash out my conditioner off camera because my camera was full. Then my son woke up. So then <laughs> I detangle my hair off camera so I can keep an eye on him. Let him got him to lay back down. So now I um, put in this Garnet Fructis or Fructis uh, Smoothing Treat um, One Minute Hair Mask plus Avocado Abstract. It looks like this. It was sent to me in a box. I don't remember when, but I'm finally able to get to use it. So if Garnet wants to send me some more, hey, I'm here. Send me some more samples. Um, it says three ways to soft, smooth hair. Um, you can use it as one, as a mask, after shampooing, apply onto wet hair and leave on for one minute to rinse. Or you can use it as conditioner, after shampoo, apply to hair from root to tip and then rinse. Or you can just use it as a leave-in conditioner and then you style as normal after. I use it as a leave-in conditioner because like I said in our previous video with my hair wig review, the reason why I started wearing wigs, wigs is because my hair is damaged. I don't do much with it. I get up and go mostly. And I'm usually the one that braids hair. I usually braid my own hair. I just don't have time for the type of schedule that I have. Hint, the reason why my videos aren't up as quickly as they need to be. But I'm working on that. Um, so yeah, so I've already detangled my hair, washed my conditioner, detangled my hair, and as well put in the mask and now I'm brushing my hair um, I usually just put my hair into a ponytail or I wrap it to especially if I have to leave out quickly which I have to do after this video to let it dry as much as possible and then later tonight I might be able to don't know if I am or not to be able to do my braid down video for how I braid my hair down for my wigs to wear them if you want a video like that please comment down below let me know and i'll show you how i braid down my hair my hair is pretty thick it is pre um pre relaxed but it's been about three months since i had a relaxer i don't even know if you can tell yeah you can tell in my roots it's been about three months since i had a relaxer so i guess you can call that um transition not sure y'all let me know um but uh so yeah i'll do that for you if you guys want that video just like and comment down below um braid down video and i'll make sure i get that up for y'all as soon as possible um but yeah so let me go ahead and just get my hair together for me to go ahead and get ready to leave before i end this video now to help with my hair i go old school and I have a little bit of stuff that's newer, but for the old school stuff, I have old school blue magic. I don't use a lot. I just use that to grease my scalp, which I have already halfway done, but I have to stop. If it makes sense. And then I also use either this shining jam for my edges to help lay down my thickness up here. Or there's a Murray's brand, which I don't know where it is right now. It's probably in my purse that I take with me just in case if I need to lay my edges down or fix something that's sticking up or whatever. And that's in a black and white container. Um, but yeah, so let me finish that. I try not to use gels. I haven't really used gels in a long time because they have so much alcohol in them that my hair eats it up like it's nothing to the point where I take to try to regain my hair back I'm taking a hair vitamin hair nail vitamin I should be taking B10 but I haven't went and bought that yet <clears throat> but I'm taking some hair nail vitamins to get my hair strengthened back up since my pregnancy I've lost a lot of hair, plus with me neglecting it, doesn't help either. So, I take out this much, and I use it all throughout my hair, my edges. Then I brush it in. I'm not real good with this when it comes to like baby hairs, so please don't try to come for me. I don't do baby hairs like that. I just brush my hair the way I like it to be. <clears throat> I thought about getting one of those baby hair like wire licking brushes. Y'all let me know if those really work. I 
Like right now my hair is wet still. It's not soaked, but it's wet. This is just what I do when I have to, like if I'm doing my hair and I gotta hurry up and rush out of the house, like before I can blow dry my hair, this is what I do. I forgot all oh, my scarves right there. I know the brush is damaging, but I guess my hair is already damaged. So it's just reverting back to how I used to like it to be. It's not about to be no ponytail tutorial, nothing like that. It's just my wash day. When I'm on like a quick one to leave the house. Now I do need my glasses, so I'm gonna put them back on. <laughs> I do have this huge ponytail holder <clears throat> that I might have to double, but then I have a small one on my wrist. <laughs> Funny, right? Which one am I gonna use? I might pop this one, but I'll use the smaller one first. You can see my little fur balls back there. I'll put some edge control on those too. I know I got the big head, it's okay. You ain't got to tell me, Slim. A little bit more for the back. Now I cut my hair recently, I took about three inches off. So my ponytail is a lot longer than this. But this is what I have to do. Alright, let me put my scarf on. Um, if you want to know where I got this scarf from, it's my house scarf. But I got it from Walmart a couple years ago. Um, it has lips on it. If y'all can see that. There you go. Um, I got this one. I got one that has, that's black and white and has skulls. Um, but these are pretty much my house stars. Or once they're washed and they're clean, I'll wear them out the house. <clears throat> so just keep my hair down when I'm like running an errand or something. Or to hide my hair when my hair looks crazy. They originally were just neck scarves. I just bought them. It's like I can use this as a head scarf. They're not silk or anything like that. It's just like regular. Let me see. It's just like some regular cotton fabric. 
not spandexy or nothing like that. And I was trying to find a tag to show y'all, but I don't want this video to be super long, so. Walmart, and it was like $5 for each one.